Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Trapped in Higashi. It is the morning of day 7. There are still some zombies around, so we gotta be careful in case any of them are feral. We're gonna start digging into these loot bags here. More food, more ammo, it's always a good thing. Speaking of ammo, we should make sure we're loaded up here in case there are any feral zombies around. Okay, looking good. Let's see what else we can find here. Oh, there it is! Level 2 Ratchet. We can make a workbench now. Because all I needed for the workbench was mechanical parts. And with that Ratchet, I can go take apart... There's another one. Level 3. Uh, but now we can go take apart all those office chairs I've been saving for the mechanical parts. Use them to craft a workbench. And then we can also get the gyrocopter accessories crafted today. If we can find some acid, I can get wheels crafted. And then all we'll need after that is the chassis, which is going to take the longest amount of time, I'm sure, because of all the steel we're going to need for that thing. There's some coin. That's nice. This guy is uh, feral. Better deal with him. Down he goes, but there's another one. And I don't have a bathroom to run into. All right. Fuck it. Fall. Fall down. Okay. Dead. And he's dead too. Recog, food, crossbow bolts. I got a lot of crossbow bolts. It would be nice if we can find a crossbow. Got a lot of shotgun shells too. But I do not feel like crafting pipe shotguns. They're just the worst. I'll take a double barrel even. There's another ratchet. Oh, that tells me that our loot stage is getting to a level where we're starting to find some decent loot. In the bags, not just the same shit over and over again. You know, food, a few shotgun shells, and brass. That's basically all it's been, but now we're starting to see some better stuff in there, so... As long as we can survive long enough, I think we can uh, pull the stuff we're going to need out of these bags. It's just going to take some time. We got a bird outside still. And it sounds like more zombies came in downstairs, but I'm not worried about either of them right now. We're going to get some chairs taken apart so we can get a workbench crafted. Okay, that is more than enough. We need 100 nails. We got the duct tape. Let's get the nails crafting out of the forge here. Nice. Oh, level one steel axe. See what I mean? The loot is starting to improve. You got something for me, lady? You do. You're such a sweetheart. Eh, nothing great. That's where we'll put the bench, but we still got some time to kill until it's done crafting, so let's go get some repair work done. These steps with the catwalk worked out alright. I'm thinking we could put plates on the side of the steps to make them last longer. Plates or ladders. Ladders might work even better, because then the zombies might not attack the ladders. They might use them to get to the top of the stairs, which is what we want. I also think a longer catwalk would have been better. Now, obviously, we're in a confined space here, so we're limited. But when I build a second set of stairs, I'm going to see if I can make the catwalk a bit longer. Bam! Seven days in, got us a workbench. Now let's see what we need for these gyro accessories. Electrical parts, headlights, pipes, mechanical parts, and springs. We got four springs. Can we craft springs in the forge? No, we cannot. So we're going to have to go find them. We're also going to have to find a whole bunch of electrical parts as well. The pipes we can craft out of the forge. Or we can... Go take apart some toilets. And what else? 
Headlights. How many headlights do we have? Ten. Okay, we got enough headlights. Everything we need, we can find by taking shit apart, so let's go do that. We're getting uh, mechanical parts, not electrical parts from the oven, but we are getting pipes, so that's good. I want to get these things out of here anyway. Got the springs we're going to need from that vending machine and some steel, which is great. There's another non-working vending machine around here somewhere. We'll go find it, take that apart. The computers alone should provide us with the electrical parts we're going to need. We take apart this ammo box in here. I'm pretty sure you get steel from that. Man, the game is running like absolute dog shit for me today. I don't know what's going on. No steel. Just forged iron. Holy shit, the frame drops are unreal. I didn't have that kind of problem on Horde Night. Some, something's wrong here. Something's fishy. And it's definitely the game. It's not my rig, because I was just playing Helldivers 2 and Planet Crafter and didn't have any issues with those games. Mm. Back up, lady. Our best bet for the base is to just fill in both bathrooms with cobblestone blocks. If we want an area of refuge down here in the lobby, we can build one in one of the offices. Alright, we got the electrical parts we're going to need for the accessories. Now, we just need the pipes. I only got one from taking that toilet apart. I mean, I'm better off just doing this. I got two from breaking it. Oh, shit. Uh, I left the wood ladder in place by the steps, so zombies can get up here now. Electrical parts and plastic parts from the servers. I don't think there's really anything else in here that will give us steel. Electrical parts, pipes, and that's really it from that. There is, like I said, another vending machine around here somewhere. I can't remember where. This is it. The trials floor. No oh, shit! Oh no. No, that's the working one. Oh, hello. Totally missed this. Hey, three more medical journals. 10 of 75. I think we need 30 of 75 to unlock the herbal antibiotics recipe. And I'm not sure if we need the chem station to craft that in or not. We may need the chem station either way to craft, um, gas. If we can't find that, too. Look at this. Building is falling apart. We're losing some structural integrity here. There it is. That's the one that doesn't work. Well, I should probably remove that ladder. So zombies just don't have free reign in the building. Hey, another loot bag. Oh, two out of three. Three out of three. Knife guy book. Another vitamin. Food shotgun shells. Rifle book. Another vitamin. Got a lot of those. Level four steel shovel. More proof the loot is improving. Got a bear, right there, and a feral zombie. All right, let's uh, run him up the catwalk. And jump. Shit. And now we got a cop, too. All right, let's get up here. Good thing I left this ladder in place. 
It wasn't a cop, it was a booger. Who can get up here now? Let's pop this open. Oh, he decided to leave. Probably the best decision that bear has ever made. Where is he, though, for real? Oh, he's still out there. I got an idea. He's stuck. Down he goes. Headlights. Pipes. Gyrocopter accessories. Oh, we're so close. Yet still so far away. I mean, all this stuff we can get. It's the steel that we're going to have to wait for and pull that slowly out of loot bags because, again, I just don't think there's any way we can get it in the building. I still got that ladder in place, so I figured, screw it, might as well let the zombies come up. Instead of walking around in the lobby all night, maybe we can get more loot bags. Here comes another one. Man, there is something going on with this game that is causing me to lose a lot of frames, and I don't know what the problem is. Got a little group of zombies here. I don't mind. Just means more XP and possibly more loot bags. There we go. Some more money. I was going to burn the money. I put the, all the money I had in the campfire. $478 gave us almost 8 minutes of burn time. There we go. 12 minutes of burn time. If we uh, light our money on fire. Man, it's getting a little crazy. Maybe I should take that ladder out. I am running dangerously low on wood, so I can't keep repairing this hatch. I'm going to have to replace it with an iron hatch. 16 pieces of wood left. Hey, another loot bag. Son of a bitch. Oh, boy. This is a problem. This is a problem. Shit. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, man, radiating me after death. We need to get those ladders out of there. Wow. Managed to repair that back to full. Another friggin' spider zombie. try and stab this guy. If I can time it right, yeah, I can get him after he attacks. Little son of a bitch. There are more coming. I hear their footsteps. Nice. Another spider zombie. Come on. Okay. Holy shit. This is crazy. They just keep coming. But we need the loot. So I, I, hey, I don't want to deny them, you know? I don't want to deny them sweet death. Who am I to do that? Uh, we're not hungry enough yet. I'm going to pull the ladder out momentarily just to give me a second to look through the settings and see if I can figure out what the hell is causing these crazy frame drops. Okay, I figured out the problem. But now we have another problem. We got a damn horde that spawned in here. Look at this. This is insane. Uh, let's see if we can get this cop to blow up. Son of a bitch. Anyway, the problem was dynamic mesh. 
That stupid setting. It's been a problem ever since they implemented it. It's never worked right. Not for me, anyway. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me pause it. Go to Options. Video. Dynamic Mesh Options. And set that to No. Turn that off. It always makes the game run like shit. I always have it turned off. I don't know how it got turned back on. My son was playing seven days earlier today, so it's possible he was messing with the settings because I don't think it's updated anytime recently. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You want that off because it just doesn't work. What it's supposed to do is when enabled, distant player buildings and POI destruction will show in the distance, which sounds great, but it's not great if it makes the game run like shit, which it always has for me. So... I always keep that off. Uh, while we're here, I guess I can show you guys my quality settings if you're interested. There they are. I usually keep the view distance and LOD distance maxed out, but for this series, I, I tuned them down just a little bit because we're stuck in one building. What do I need a higher view distance for? You know what I mean? Anyway, that was the problem. Dynamic mesh. Oh, shit. You just got a cop fall down from the floor above. Where'd you come from, buddy? Oh, were you stuck up there or something? Yellow bag for me? No, bastard. I hope there's no more up there. All right. Um, should probably thin this herd out a little bit before I drop the ladder in because that's quite a lot. Dropped him, but he is not dead. Is he mad? Yep. Oh, and of course, no zombies around to take advantage of that. That sucked. Uh, I got an idea. Now that we got a workbench, we can craft pipe bombs. Let's see how many we can craft. We need gunpowder, and we need pipes, and we need plant fiber. Probably only eight, because that's how many pipes I have. Yep. All right. Let's craft all eight. I only use two right now. I'll save the rest for Horde Knight. And we gotta craft more pipes. So we can make more bombs. Those will help come night nine. That was decent. All right. I got a better idea for this last one, though. We'll bring them upstairs, get them all stuck behind the hatch, and then we'll throw it. There we go. That's going to bring them up. Let's wait for a bigger group, obviously. I mean, unless I can just take them all out with the knife. Uh, no, that's, that's getting pretty big. Let's not risk it. Oh, good throw. Beautiful. Fuck yeah. Dude. This is great. It's like a little extra horde knight that was easy to deal with. Oh, shit. Well, that's big boy. He chews through cobblestone like it's a fucking sponge cake. Okay. Ah, the benefits of having two loaded machine guns. Nice. Here comes another one. Okay, we got some dogs down there still. They can't get up the ladder. We'll deal with them, though. Oh, shit. Lady. Yeah, that's what you get. Run up on me while I'm eating. What's the matter with you? So before I grab these loot bags, I was just thinking that we're going to try a little experiment here. I've got a bunch of skill points to spend, five of them, and that will actually allow me to put two points into Grease Monkey. And we're going to see if that increases our odds of finding items associated with vehicles, such as wheels, engines, batteries, all things we desperately need. Because there is a lot of people that seem to believe that certain perks 
increase the chances of finding certain items. Like points into position will increase your chances of finding medical loot items. So we'll see. It can hurt. I mean, I guess it can. We could have used those five skill points in another way, but whatever. If that day, level five battle axe. If using those points that way increase our odds of finding wheels and engine in a battery, then it's totally worth it. If it doesn't, then whatever. All right, spider zombie died. He bled out. Holy shit. This is insane. Still haven't killed those dogs yet. And I, I'd like to because there are some loot bags down there I want to grab. Well, this is what you get with Feral Sense on in the Wasteland. And shooting guns doesn't help. <laughs> it just attracts more. But I'm not complaining. Like I said, more zombies that show up, more XP we get, and more chances we get at loot bags. Like that. And that. You got one for me, copper? Don't blow up. Thank you. Huh, there's another skill point. Knife guy book. Level 3 military chest armor. We got level 4 military chest armor, so we're good. Alright. Uh, you know what? Let's just use the base. We'll get up there this way. We can make that jump. Yeah, shit. Okay. We'll get up this way then. There we go. Come on up, puppy. He's the last one, I think. Okay. Let's get these bags and uh, we'll call it a night. Well, morning. Another pair of night vision goggles. Got a zombie coming. Back up. He dead. How you doing, Mo? All right. There we go. That'll do it. Let's uh, fill in this bathroom real quick while we're here. That was pretty sweet, though. That was like uh, having a screamer horde without having to spawn in a screamer. All right, well, I'm going to call that an episode. Let me get this loot put away and organized, and we will pick things up here on the morning of day eight and continue our attempt to get our hands on some more steel, a battery, an engine, wheels, and some gas, and we'll get the hell out of here. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. If you want to support the channel further, the link to my Patreon is down below. You guys can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Trapped in Higashi, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.